Why am I so awkward? and today I'm here with a little Value Village book haul. I picked up five books from my Value Village because it was 50% off day and you know your girl can never say no to a sale. So I figured I would show you guys what I picked up. So without further ado, let us get started. The first book I picked up was literally just because of the author. She's one of my favorites. It is The Impossible Knife of Memory by Lori Hulse Anderson. I've read Speak and Winter Girls by her and I loved both of them. So I saw this one and I was like, Neat. It's about a girl whose father was in the war and his memories of the war are starting to catch up to him and he's struggling a lot and it's basically her trying to figure out how to help him cope with it while also trying to forget her haunting past as well. I'm intrigued and it's Lori Hells Anderson so I feel like I can't go wrong with this. The next book I picked up was because I know that Haley from Haley and Bookland really loves this book so I wanted to give it a try. It is Codename Verity and this is by Elizabeth Wayne. I don't really know that much about it other than it takes place in 1943 and that there's a plane crash where the pilot and the passenger are best friends but only one of them is able to survive. Something like that. But apparently it is a mature read so we're gonna be mature and read this and hopefully I like it as much as other people do. The next book I also picked up because a lot of people say how much they love it. It is Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetis and I again don't know that much about it other than it's set in 1941 and this girl sells her brother for a pocket watch or something like that and then she leaves little clues for her father in her drawings and hope that they reach him I honestly have no idea, but so many people say that this book is amazing, so it was half price and it was there, so I was like, I'ma buy it. The next book is The Perfect Girl by Gillian McMillan. This follows a 17 year old girl named Zoe who committed a crime when she was younger, served her time, and now she is out. And she's this musical prodigy who is about to have her first recital back and her mom Maria wants it to be absolutely perfect. Maria really pushes the fact that this needs to be Zoe's recital of a lifetime and she's been planning it for months and then by the end of the night Maria ends up dead and as the police investigate they start turning towards Zoe and trying to figure out if she's somehow involved in her mother's death. It's kind of the story of that. I'm intrigued because you know if a daughter kills their mother like that's gotta be some serious shit going on. I'm just saying. So I'm excited to see what the serious shit is. And then the final book that I have is What She Knew. This is also by Jillian McMillan. It follows a woman named Rachel who is at the park with her eight-year-old son, Ben, and then he ends up vanishing. The police begin investigating, trying to figure out what happened to Ben, where he might be, and then the media gets involved and they start questioning Rachel and they think that she might be involved somehow in her son's disappearance and is basically them turning on her and what actually happened to Ben. I'm intrigued again because I want to know if the mother did something to her little child. I want to know what happens. All right guys, so that was my little Value Village book haul. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you've thought of them and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!